Hey there. So today I'm doing an updated tutorial on how to customize and style your Google form with code that you want to use. So lots of people were commenting that my old tutorial is outdated now, that Google Forms has changed and it's no longer accurate. So this is an updated version to show you that it's still very possible and still the same process more or less. It's fairly easy still. There's just a little bit of tweaking with some code. So if you have no familiarity with HTML at all, then this is not going to be helpful for you. So um, you have to have a fundamental understanding of how to work with HTML and CSS. So you have to have at least copied and pasted some code in the past to get use out of this. So the first thing I like to do is I go to a site called CodePen to find, to browse form styles, to find one that I like. So obviously you can find one that you want to use or you can custom write your own code if that's what you prefer. If you have a form already made that you like the style for, then, you know, go with that. Um, otherwise, if you need to find one, then you can head on over to CodePen, which is what I am about to do. So this is CodePen. I like to start by doing a search for form, which will pull up a bunch of different form styles for you to browse. And for this example, I'm going to be doing a contact form, so we can actually get even more specific. We'll go back and search for contact form instead. That will narrow it down to the kind of forms that we're looking to do in this example. And uh, as you can see, there's lots to choose from. So, you know, just find something that suits you, basically. Uh, this is one I've used in the past right here. I like that. But there's pages and pages to browse. So here's another one it's very minimalistic maybe you like minimalist design as you can see this is pretty simple light gray and white or you know this one which I've used in the past which is a lot more colorful and I like the way that one looks so you just have to find one that you like the appearance of and for this example um, today we're going to be using a different one neither of these two and again, you can do this with any of the forms, so it really doesn't matter. But today I'm going to be using this red form. This is the one I've chosen to use today. So, of course, the advantage of CodePen is that above the demo here, you have the HTML code, the CSS code, and any JavaScript that's needed to make this form work correctly. So first we're going to open Notepad, and we're going to go ahead and copy all of this HTML code, uh, which it doesn't want to select all, so you just got to drag it, click and drag. And make sure you get from the beginning because I didn't just then. So we'll copy and paste that into Notepad. And then we're going to put some white space above what we just pasted so that we can now go back and add the CSS. So we'll select all that, copy that code. And uh, this time we'll have to add the CSS style tag. So if you're not familiar with how to do that, you just go style type equals, then quotes text slash CSS quote and and the tag there and then paste everything we just copied here then go one line below and end the tag close the tag with the closing style tag there we go so now we're going to save this file so we'll go file save as then we're going to change save as type from text documents to all files and we'll call this file red form design dot html and I'm going to save it to my desktop. I'll change this to UTF-8. Save. Now we're going to go find the file we just created on the desktop. My computer is running a little slow, so I apologize for the delays. It's having a hard time. It's an old computer. Okay, so here we are. And we are looking for red form design which is right here we'll double click it to open in the browser and in fact I'm going to pull there you can see that the form shows up correctly and everything's right so that was done correctly so far I'm gonna pull this tab out of this window so it has its own window now because this will be our testing window for testing local files so next step is to go over head on over to um, Google Forms and 
basically all we're going to be doing is creating a new form by clicking on start a new form in blank. And we're going to recreate the exact form that we just made. So all we need is three fields, one for name, one for email, and one for message for a simple contact form. So that's pretty simple to do in Google Forms. If you're not familiar with how to do that, it's very easy. So we're going to go here. We'll, we'll just retitle this contact form so we know which one it is. Then down here, we'll change this to name. And then we'll go over here to the plus thing and add another field. We'll call that email, of course, so that it matches our other form. And once again, on the right, we'll add one last field for message, which is our last input field. And that's pretty much it. So we're pretty much done with that part. That was easy, right? So next we're going to scroll up to the top or first we'll rename this form uh, so that, you know, it shows up. We can find it later. We'll add a star so it's easy to find. And uh, we're going to make all these fields required real fast. We're going to toggle the required so that, you know, nobody submits empty forms. Then we're going to go up to the right on the top of the screen and look for the eye icon. Click that. That's going to take us to a live preview of our Google form. And this is what we need in order to merge the two. So in this live version uh, preview, we're going to go ahead and we're going to right click. We're going to go view page source. And I know that this is a horrible wall of text to look at. It's a migraine just waiting to happen. Look at this mess, right? So luckily, it's not as bad as it seems. <laughs> All we need to do is we need to find the opening form tag and the closing form tag. And we need to copy everything between those two tags, which is actually not a whole lot of this. So don't freak out or give up <laughs> just looking at this because I could totally understand if you want to. So we'll go up in Chrome, we'll go to find. And uh, then we will start to type the form tag. And as you can see, that makes it real easy to find where it starts. And so that's where we need to start copying from. Now we got to figure out where the ending form tag is, which can be just as hard. So unfortunately, I don't know of a way to find both at the same time. So, I mean, it might take you a minute looking around to figure it out. It took me a second. It's, it's not impossible. It's just difficult because it's such a massive wall of text that's just all jumbled together. Um, so, I mean, if it makes it easier, you can also, if you need to, you can, of course, do what we just did, except for with the closing tag. So there's the closing tag. And let's see if that makes it any easier to find the beginning one now that we just found it a moment ago. So we'll start from the bottom up this time and let's see it was somewhere right around I almost got it I'm so close I can just the form action yep that's it so we'll copy all of that everything the form tags between the form tags so we're gonna make a new file in notepad we're gonna paste all of that that we just did and we're gonna do the same thing save as all files we're going to call this file Google contact form .html. We're going to save that to the desktop as well. And we're going to, again, go back to the file explorer and find the file we just created, which is Google form contact form. My computer is running a little slow again. There it is. Okay. Google contact form. Now we'll double click to open that in the browser. And as you can see, that is a very stripped down version of our Google form with just our fields, no styling, nothing. And that's exactly what we want. So now that we have that file saved as well, we're going to, we need to open both files in notepad that we just created. So you need to have the Google contact form HTML file open in notepad and also your red form design file open in notepad at the same time side by side so that we can make edits uh, between the two and make these sync up so we'll open this with notepad as well 
and then uh, we'll have them side by side. We'll resize these so we can see both of them at the same time here because we're going to be working with both. Okay. So we only need to pick out a very few couple little bits of text from this mess over here and insert it into our much cleaner code over on the left here. So that's the good news. Uh, it's not particularly hard. So first thing we need to do is we need to find the form action URL. So we're going to select everything between the quotes after form action. So right there, and we're going to copy that and we're going to replace it over here where this num number symbol is for form action, paste. We'll save that so that we save our work as we go. And we're also going to add this ID value here. We're going to copy that and we're going to add that as well to the form opening form tag. So we'll just put it after method post. We'll put a space and then paste it and then uh, save again so that we're saving our progress. So next we need to go through basically and uh, find the, the name uh, property for all of our input fields. So our first input field is name. And so what we need to do is find that over here in this messy Google code. So we'll go file, find, and we'll just put name. That's the field name, so we'll try that. And uh, it's going to find all these other instances of name, but that's okay, because there it was. Okay, so right here. So that's our label. And now we need to find the input field, which is, um, again, this is just such a mess of code. So it's going to be kind of farther down the page. Um, you'll find it right about here, it looks like. I see it. Yep, there it is. Okay, so what we need from this is the name property which is right here. So we're going to copy that uh, name equals and everything with the quotes, copy, and we're going to go over here to our much cleaner file and we're going to add that to the input uh, element. So we'll put it between the type and the ID. We'll go ahead and put a space here between the two and then we'll go back and we'll paste that and then uh, we'll save it again. Um, next, we just need to repeat this process for the other two fields. So um, all it's a matter of is scrolling down and finding our next field, which is email, of course. So let's see. So now we got to look for that. We'll just scroll on down and look for it. It can't be that hard to find, right? This is just such a messy bunch of crap. <laughs> okay, email, there we go. I see it, I see it. It's right here, it's right. It's pretty far down, but it's right there. So we just need to do the same exact thing we just did, which is go scroll down further to find the name property for this input field, which is right here, looks like. Yep. So again, we'll copy that and we're going to add it to our email input. We'll again add it between type and ID. We'll add a space. We'll go back and we'll copy, paste that. We'll go save. And last but not least is our message field. So we're just doing the same exact thing here uh, by scrolling down and finding, there it is, message. Okay. That's our label. Now we're going to have to go down further in order to find the name again for this input. Um, this one, oops, not the class, sorry, <laughs> the name. So is right here. And this one says required name for some reason, but that's fine though. We're just going to select the name part, copy. And again, we're going to add this uh, to our field down here which we'll put it after ID, we'll paste it and then make sure to put the space and then save again. And we should be all set at this point. So again, we'll go to our tab that has the red form design local file open. We'll pull that up and we're going to refresh the browser to update the changes we've made. 
sorry about that. Refresh that. And now we're going to test it. So I'm just going to put my name and uh, my email and just a testing message uh, to test this form. And then I'm going to click Send. And there you have it. It has been sent to Google. It will show up in your spreadsheet of responses, which we can you know, go back and double check real quick. You know, might as well, just to make sure everything's legit and all systems are go. So now we can close these. We don't need these open anymore. We're pretty much done, guys. It's pretty simple, right? Not difficult at all, really. I mean, the hardest part is picking out the bits of text that we need. And it's it's not much and it's not a lot of work. It's just, you know, staring at all that. And if you use a, a text editor that helps you highlight with syntax or whatever, uh, it's going to be a lot easier to pick out the parts that we're looking for. So, I mean, Notepad is like the bare bones text editor. So <laughs> that's why it's a little harder than it would be if you're using a more full featured text editor. But any at any rate, I'm trying to find my form I just made here. Uh, it's that's right. It's that's not it. It's contact form. I forgot what I called it. Sorry about that. Okay, contact form. <laughs> so uh, and as you can see, there is one response already, and it is the info we just submitted. And so everything's good. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment. But it's pretty pretty straightforward. And uh, I hope you found this useful. Let me know uh, what you have in terms of feedback or comments. Thanks.